So I'm really glad Ken is uh, traveling through LA and he is uh, reading here tonight. Um, Ken um, has been involved with music and poetry. Um, he has a number of publication credits. He teaches creative writing and copyright law as well in uh, Houston. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ken Jones. So I thought I'd do some poems that I actually published here in LA or that were part of uh, the Los Angeles experience. This is called Mid Wilshire Sunset. A pollutant palette splatters cosmetic pink across an artificially eerie LA sunset. Brightness leaps to life like an impressionist canvas, a vouillard with blank faced women taking tea in a parlor of flowers. It neither knows nor cares or is screaming a warning. We apply the makeup to those faces in our ignitions and exhausts. Other colors fight for space, monoxide mauve, chemical chartreuse, like drivers in a mad dash for the on-ramp. What's left of the pure clear sky fades away in perspective like the baby used as a beggar's tool by a runaway camped at a convenience store. Both casualties of capricious cruelty, gone mad, but making sense. Volcano. We wear our fears in our eyes, like anchors dropped in oceans. Currents of senses and emotions, in furious churning, yearning to break the banal bonds which bind our minds and dying bodies. And your beauty is an island newly formed, from the earth hotly urging, dominance by purging, its menstruous and a senseless replication of creation. So to feel our bodies shake in exultation at our union, buries these fears in layers of ecstatic islands mindlessly rising. And this is called, Know That Evil Is Close At Hand. One fly buzzes us in Mauthausen's gas chamber. So many spirits. This is called By the Light of the TV Set. I write by the light of the TV set. I get different hues with the change on the news channel from fight shots to war pictures. Both made red, easily accessible light by which for me to write on my paper. But later, both kaleidoscope up the spectrum, illuminating the stuck periscope my thoughts become trapped through when I try to capture them. Their murky incompleteness, even through 525 lines of resolution, make me more resolute. A hopeful revolution can spawn a new human cooperation, a plan untried, not tied to inaccurate inanities, immaculate insanity. So I need to write by the light of the TV set some more. Tongue tied. My tongue is tied into tails, Gordian knots that never fail. A fighter bomber jet fume trail trails into the atmosphere. I pray before the satin altar, wine flows from a silver canister. I inhale frankincense, myrrh, my actions stem from fear. And the last poem I'm gonna read is the title poem of my book. This was also published in the San Fernando Poetry Journal, Unutterable Blunders and Palace Disasters, part one. Come now, this eroding empire, paradise of products and purchase. Perchance, perhaps, absurdity absolves the hapless inhabitants for the irreversible crash. Come now to a man, reasoner, thrown in this habitat by happenstance, battered and bashed by lucre's translucent lash. Hear the myriad gaggle of babble gurgling over telephone lines with origin and destination, both known and unknown. Part two. Fat white men play us like a computer game. The numbers governors manufacture, all you are, all you wanted to become, and what you became. 
tied like a lynch victim to currencies eternal ephemera, all naught but a chimera. The ex Arabic abstractions in the NASDAQ or OTC section, tabloids void of connection. When origin and destination, both known and unknown, fat white men play you like a computer game. Like mastodon bones they toss, shadow puppets of fame for you to chew, smog to shroud the palace court of each corporate park. Executives as monarchs, managers as feudal lords, the middle class as jesters sucking sycophants and peasants, jockeying to make the kings laugh, and fatter, fatter they grow, they bellow, your moans a CD of servility, every note so pure and clear, in this court you court fear. Part three. With origin and destination, both known and unknown, you watch TV without understanding the electronic components of image creation. You heat your feed in a microwave, not comprehending the physics of radiation. You fly in planes bereft of knowledge of the actions and reactions within jet turbines. You flip a light, not even thinking of the tools and fuels molding electric sparks. You live a life not knowing why, cycles of expansion and recession, tedious toil without redemption, darkness devoid of emotional expression, yield only desperation and depression. In incomprehension, you are not alone. Like those thousand million electrons, coded voices through phone lines, you are in the mainstream, yet only one at a time can you scream. For every transco tower, there is toxic waste. For every shark cathedral, there is a fart. With origin and destination, both known and unknown, your moments are suspended in slow-mo. Four. You reasoner, you are alone, a thinker on a throne in a pose of waste disposal. You reasoner, man whose sons and daughters like you will willfully consent to the slaughter of spirit for the benefit of recycling spit and shit. You fought for naught but the dense settled sense of questions answered in cosmological somersaults, still yielding unanswerable bottoms. The hollow of your soul and the world blew you apart like a 20 megaton explosion, the light blinding, the blast wave devastating any and all ground you thought you found to stand firm on. With origin and destination, both known and unknown, you reasoner are a criminal, artificial creation, desiring imposition on the hollow null set you and your fellows inhabit. This is it, and you know this is it, and you know nothing, and nothing will change it.